Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Person module. So before we dive into the tutorial here, I just wanted to say that I have a special affiliate link discount below for Divi if you don't already have it, and it should get you at least 10 to 20% off of your purchase. So if you want to use that, you can go through WPWithTom.com slash Divi. And I also just wanted to mention that I'll have videos on all these modules here posted on my channel. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Divi module tutorials covering the basics. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the basics of this Divi person module. So this is just a layout pack that they have with Divi. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add a new section. So let's just go and click this plus and new section regular. And then I'm going to just go and I'll just make this too wide in this case for this person section. And they can be great for adding a team section or a team page or an about page of your website. A few different ones like that work really well for this person module here. So you can go and type person up at the top or you can scroll down alphabetical order and it's person. You just click on that to get started and add it in here. So right out of the box here, we've actually got a nice layout to work with. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the one layout here in our desired look. And then I'll just simply duplicate it and change the image and name. And you can also edit other things like the text and the social media. But it will keep the same design that you already set up. So I recommend adding all images that are the same size when you're doing these. And I'm actually going to be using 600 by 900 pixel images in this case. And I just wanted to be upfront about that. So I'm going to actually toggle this close for text. And I'm going to go and add an image first and I'll add one of these 600 by 900 images. So if you click on it, you can see right here, 600 by 900. You can use different sizes. I'm just using that so it's the same here and I'll upload an image. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just toggle this closed right here and I'll go back to where it says text. So you can see right here, it says name goes here and you hover over it and it highlights that specific area. So right where it says name goes here, you can change this name out. So I'm just going to add Joe Smith right here. And if you want to change position, you can do that. You can also add social media links or profiles. I'm just going to go and put in the hashtag or the pound symbol here for each of these profiles, just so we have them in there as placeholders and you can see what it looks like. Down here, you can change the content right here and that's what goes right over here. And you can edit that and maybe tell more about this person or more about the role that they have within the company or the website here that you're focusing on. And then if you want to, you can go down to link and you can add a link if you want it to go to a certain place. So if you want to click on it and it goes to maybe work that they've done or something like that, you can do that and add that in here. So that about wraps up the content tab right here. We can go and go and look at the design tab right here and get started with some basic edits. So if you see it says icon, icon actually refers to this right here with these social media icons. So if I were to make them red, you can see they turn red right here. You click blue, they become blue. And you can actually change the icon size. So if I toggle this on, I can make it larger or smaller as I want. So let's just say I'm going to make them, I don't know, 30 pixels looks good right here. And it stands out pretty clearly. You can see the icons, easily click on them. Now if you go over here to image, you can go and add things like rounded corners or borders. So let's just say I wanted to have rounded corners. I'm just going to go and add 100 pixels and it will go 100 to each side. It makes a more oval shaped around the edges here. I actually don't think I'm going to use this, but I'm going to go and put this back to zero in this case. And they're all locked. So let's just say if you want to unlock it, I'll show you a quick example. If you wanted to have it 100 pixels in the corner, see this corner is rounded, but all the others are square. So maybe you want to do 100 here. And then you have the rectangle here, but you have the rounded corners on this edge. It gives it more of a design element if you want to add that in. I'm going to go and make them all zero in this case and lock them. So they're all connected here at zero. So the way that you can do borders right here is you can actually go and add an image border width. So you can see it's around the edge now. The more you make it larger here, the thicker the border gets. And if you want to, you can add a border and change the color to it. I'm going to actually go right here and revert back and I'm going to make the border zero or non-existent here. So that's what you can do with that. If you want to add an image box shadow, you can do that right here. I like this one right here for this. It's nice and subtle, but you can still see, you can see it around here. If you want to change how 
much that shows. You can adjust it in these settings as needed. I'm going to just close this and move on to the next one. And if you wanted to open up the text one, you can align the text in different areas. So if you wanted the text to the right, you could put it over here, center, or left. I'm going to leave it to the left in this case, and I'll leave it as dark. Now, if we go down to title text right here, the title text is going to be this one right here. So if we were to make this larger, let's just say we wanted to make it ultra bold. We can do that. I'm going to make it ultra bold, and I'm also going to increase the size. So let's go and make it like 24. I guess pixels would be pretty good right there. And if you wanted to, you can go and add a title text shadow right here. It makes it stand out a little bit. I kind of like the look of that. And I'm going to go and toggle this one. Body text is right down here, so it skips over the position text right here. It goes right to the body. I'm going to go and just make this darker, and I'm going to also increase the text size. So I think something like, I don't know, 16, 17 looks fine. And there's a couple other things you might want to do here. If the text is too close, we can adjust that as well. But let's just go right to position text. And I'm going to go, since I made this one ultra bold, I made this one regular, I'm going to go and make this one more of a bold right here on position. And I'll make it darker as well. So let's say you think these are a little close. You can go down here to where it says line height and adjust that. So it goes up to 1.8, 1.9. It gives you more space between the area. So I'm going to go and make it 1.9. I think look pretty good. And I'm also going to do the same for under the picture with the actual title text. So I'll just adjust that slightly. It's at 1 right now. If you adjust it to 1.1, 1.2, it pushes it down a little bit from the image itself. I like how that looks overall. Now again, I'm going to just toggle this closed and we can go into the next section here. So let's say we want to go down here and change the animation. I like to look at the various options we have here and see if you like how any of them looks. If you really want attention, you can do something like bounce, but I think something like zoom or slide just like this one looks pretty good. And I'm going to go and just save this right here. So that covers the basics of how to create this. And from here, if you want to speed up the design process and add another team member, what you can do is go right here and hover over it and it will say, duplicate module. So if we click on that, it actually duplicates it and puts it down here. Now you can click, hold, and drag it right here and go up into this area and just drop it in. And now we have our second one right here side by side. And you can easily go in here and edit this one. So I'll go in, edit, and I'll just put the name as Jane Smith instead of Joe Smith. And you can change out the text here, the social media profiles, whatever you need to change. But the key here is you're keeping the design that you set up and you're not having to redo it all over again. Now we can go and add another picture. So let's go and add an image and I'll change that out and I'll add this woman in here as Jane Smith. And now we have two different ones. And if we just go right here, we save it. And that wraps up the basics of using the person module here. I really hope that you enjoyed this quick video here. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more WordPress and Divi related videos. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.